could make a bad financial decision. Nobody talk to me. Nobody talk to me. They're sold out. I'm literally officially a dumbass. Three, two, one. Here we go! You remember a couple months ago when I went to Best Buy and I looked at a couple cameras? I didn't buy one, but I should have. Oh wait, you wouldn't remember. I didn't post it. I just decided that I'm tired of not having a camera. I had one. I had the uh, Canon M5, sold it. Now I haven't had one for almost a year, so I'm gonna go get a new one. So here's the part that I'm conflicted on. I don't know whether to get a G7X or get a Canon M50. I just wanna know if one is gonna be small enough to fit in my purse because I wanna bring it with me places, but I don't wanna carry a camera bag everywhere. I guess when I get there, I'll just have to like, Nobody talk to me. Nobody talk to me. They're sold out of the M50s. I was gonna get that one. So now I'm like, should I just get the G7X? Or should I wait? I mean, this one is small enough to fit in my purse. It's a really good camera, but what I don't understand, it's almost $100 more than the EOS. And the M50 is like, bigger. So I just don't get it. Oh, wait, this is the part three. <gasps> wait, where's the two? I'm literally officially a dumbass. This is the two. They don't really look that different and they're like the same size. Oh, okay, so this one's like $150 cheaper than M3. Okay, so I thought about it a little bit more. Okay, ultimately, I decided the G7X is small enough to fit in my purse, and it's like still like a really good camera, and I figured like, why would I buy a big camera that like I'm not gonna really be able to take places because it's so big, I'm not gonna wanna carry it around. But I can just get a smaller one that goes in my purse. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, you have a camera in your hand right now, why don't you just use your phone? Because I don't wanna use my phone, I wanna use a camera, okay? I bought like a tiny little tripod for it and a, like a little tiny little camera case. I don't even have the camera right now, I had to order it because they were out. It's supposed to come in next Friday. So until then, I guess we'll just have to sit here in suspense Okay, I guess you guys didn't really have to wait in suspense because it was only like five seconds for you, but it was like a whole week for me and it was too long, but I got it. It's so beautiful. It's finally here. It's finally unboxed. I'm so excited to mess with it, play with it. And best of all, it fits in my purse. So I got this little bitty carrying case and it comes with these adjustable like side things to protect it like bumpers. So you just put it in and then you like fix the bumpers around it just like this. So it just fits in there, very snug. It's not gonna go anywhere. And it fits right in my purse, no problem. And there's still a bunch of extra room in there. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, thank you guys so much. There's a freaking spider. I hate spiders. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, thanks for coming along with me and watching me make bigger dents in my wallet. I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one.